This is the 2016 to 17 Introduction to Mechanical Engineering exam. Uh, question, sorry, Introduction to Mechanical and Electrical Engineering exam, and it's the Mechanical Engineering exam. And this is question two. Um, question two A is about explaining the principles of equilibrium. I'm not going to write all of that out now. Um, you can read a worked solution. Uh, which is available. And question 2b is about explaining the method of joints and the method of sections. Again, I'm not going to write all of that out now, um, but these are things that, that you will need to know. One thing to say just generally about this, um, it's very useful for both of these to have a diagram or to um, you can say a lot with pictures for these kinds of questions. Um, and so I recommend in general, when you're trying to explain engineering principles using diagrams and pictures. Part C is all about this um, crane here, and we are asked, for, we're told that the load uh, W has a mass of 200 kilograms, and we're asked for the axial compression in the column, the tension in the support cable, and the compression in the boom. And we're told we can ignore the weight of the structure and we should use G equals 10. So let's have a look at that. This is two part C and we've got this kind of a crane. Um, and we're told this angle here is 45 degrees. So first of all, we're asked for the axial compression in the column. I mean, there are different ways to do this, and you may just want to do it by eye. But one thing that is quite useful to, to just be aware of um, is the idea of the method of sections is very, very general indeed. And so one thing we can do here is to take a section within the boom there. Um, so I've made an imaginary cut, and then what I can say is, well, if there's tension inside the mast uh, or the column, yeah, we'll call this column, tension in the column, then it would point in that direction. It, it's a pulling force, so it would be pulling this down. Um, and the only other force that I can see going on here is the weight of the whole thing, um, W equals mg equals... 200 times 10 equals 2,000 newtons. So using vertical equilibrium on this um, section that I've got here, TC is pulling downwards, W is going downwards, and there are no other forces that I can mark on that diagram, so they have to add up to zero. Um, which means TC equals negative W equals negative 2,000 newtons. So although I started by assuming tension, I've got a negative number as my answer. So I'm going to say the column experiences 2,000 newtons compression. And that's the answer. Um, for parts two and three, we're asked for the tension in the cable here and in the boom, which is this horizontal strut here. Um, let's just take a second and think about how to do this. We used the method of sections in part one. Um, what I might do is use the method of joints, uh, or, or at least just to think about one individual part of the structure, which I'm going to say is in equilibrium. And I'm going to say that's th this, the very end of the boom must be in equilibrium. So if we draw the end of the boom as a point, which is a simplification we'll often use um, as, as useful, then this is the tension in the um, support cable. This is any tension in the boom and this is the weight. And those are the three forces that can act on the end of the boom there, on this point here. Again, just to be clear, I'm not saying that these will be in tension, but I find it easiest to always mark them as being in tension so they pull away from the point that you're looking at. And then if I get a negative number, I'll say, okay, they're in compression once I've done the calculation. 
The other thing that's just worth doing now, um, TSC here is at an angle, and I'm going to want to do horizontal and vertical equilibrium. So if I do a triangle, I can work out the horizontal and vertical components of TSC. Um, first of all, I could say cos 45 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which in this case equals TSCH divided by TSC. And that means that TSCH, the horizontal component, equals TSC cos 45. And I know that cos 45 equals 1 on root 2. So I can say that's TSC divided by root 2. Similarly, uh, if I do the same analysis, I could say sine 45 equals opposite over hypotenuse. This is all so car toe kind of stuff. And that equals TSCV divided by TSC. Um, and that means that TSCV equals TSC sine 45. And again, that equals TSC on root 2. Um, so we can replace this arrow here. Um, I will do this in pencil just for simplicity. But what we can do is replace this arrow with a horizontal and a vertical force. This is TSC V and this is TSC H. So whenever you've got a uh, a force acting at an angle, you want to use trigonometry to resolve that force into horizontal and vertical components. And now everything, if I replace this force with these two forces, everything I'm looking at is either horizontal or vertical. And that makes the final analysis straightforward. So we can say vertically forces acting upwards equal forces acting downwards, and we know that the weight W is 2,000 newtons. And we also know TSC V here is TSC on root 2. So TSC, which is really what we want to know, the tension in the support cable, equals root 2 times 2,000, which equals... Two eight two eight. I'm going to call that two eight three zero newtons to three significant figures. Uh, if we look horizontally, then we can say uh, forces acting to the left, the tension in the boom plus TSCH equals zero. So TS TB equals negative TSCH and I know TSCH is the same as TSCV which I know is 2000 newtons so it's negative 2000 newtons. You could if you wanted um, take a bit more time and space over this question just to show exactly where all of these steps are coming from but because I've been talking about it as I've been going I um, think it's it's reasonably clear where I've got these answers from. So um, that's a compression because it's a negative number. And what I might do now is just note that I'm answering parts two and three together. And I can say that tension in the support cable is 2830 newtons and the compression in the beam is 2,000 newtons. And that's the answer. Um, I've done something I don't recommend at all here, and I sort of squeezed this in towards the bottom of the page just because I didn't want to start a new page. Um, I thoroughly recommend that in situations like that you actually start a new page. Do as I say, not as I do.
um, but the answers there are I think correct and I'm happy with the general working. Um, so that's how you do question two part C.